In this tutorial, we will go through our print area templates that we've set up in Canva. So we'll go through how to use print area template size perfectly for applying onto Brightstar Crafters Blanks products, using multiple templates on the same sheet, which is called Ganging Up, and also saving and uploading an image file into our custom printed sheets product on the Brightstar Crafters website. So let's get started. So you'd like to know some more about how to use the print area templates to set up your own designs for custom printed sheets by Brightstar Crafters. What we've got set up for you already are some print area guides that you can use to set up your designs so that they fit perfectly on our blanks. And also there's a couple of extra little ones for things like wine labels, recommended sizes for those, beer labels, stubby holders, t-shirt pocket square, and then also some t-shirt guides and, and things like that. So I'll go through a couple of examples in how to use these guides to set up some designs and also how to set up multiple things onto one sheet because you've got a 12 by 12 inch sheet and you can fit as much on there as you want. So then you can get multiple things done in the one sheet. So I'll show you what I mean. So if you have a look at this template, you can see that um, we've actually locked the text so you don't accidentally grab that. So if you want to set up a mug, say, and this one is just if you want to have one side and you center the design on just one side of the mug, or if you'd like the design to wrap all the way around the mug, you can use this one. So what you need to do is set up another 12 by 12 sheet. So you go to custom size and make sure that your units are in inches and set it up to be 12 by 12 and then you create your new artboard to be the correct size of our custom printed sheets so that you know whatever you put into this sheet it's going to be printed at exactly the right size. So when you're copying these you don't want to scale them to be the right size but if you accidentally do we do have the size that it is and if you see we're using these grid rather than a frame and that allows you to make these whatever size you like and you can see that the size comes up as you drag the corner around so well, we'll just go back and grab grab it so that we know that this is actually set up at the right size and you can either use this to create the design as your base so if you wanted to change the color, you could come up to here and pick a color. And if you wanted to add some text, you can add some text by just clicking one of these and you can change the color. You can change the font up here. Adjust the line spacing. Do it so that it sits on one side and then you copy it and it'll wrap around and sit on the other side. So this will be where the handle is and then it wraps all the way around to the other handle. So this is a very simple example of what you can put onto a mug. Uh, if you've got, say you've got a pattern that you really like and you've been able to download it and you've got permission to use it, you can go drag file into the document. You can just see it's uploading. Oh, I've actually already uploaded it and once it's uploaded and you've got it in your artboard you can actually just drag it and it'll snap into that mask and if you double click you can adjust how that's positioned in your mask. How cool is that? So you can use this to set up patterns or if you've got a picture that you'd like to upload. So you can copy that and I'll do a picture as an example. You can, you can upload a picture and you just got to drag it into that area. So say so we'll use this and if you want to add some text onto that, you can drag and pick whichever font you'd like it to be say my love
or actually you could do Nan's mug. Say you wanted to make a whole bunch of things for your Nan. Drag it there and change the colour. Have a look and put some effects on it if you'd like. Maybe just a shadow. You can change the colour of your shadow. There you go. And then you can copy it over to the other side so that that's sitting on this side and this side. You want to maybe do a matching tea towel for her as well. So if we come over to the template file and go down to our tea towel template guide and you just copy that and then go to your 12 by 12 sheet and paste that in there. So now you can see this is approximately the size guide that suits a larger size heat press. So make sure that you measure your heat press size to if you want to do it in one press, you want to try and make sure that the design sits within that size that it's going to press on. So say you want to use, so if you go to your uploads, you want to use the same pattern so that it's matching. You can copy and paste that and you could maybe do Nan's kitchen and say you want to actually use this as a different shape but you want to know that it's going to be the right size for the blank you can use that as a template guide so if you go to elements and then you go to a frame you could choose a frame that you want to put this in so you want to do this so if you line this up to be the same size as this, you can actually just then go to your uploads and drag that into there. Now move that out of the way, delete those and then you know you've got this set up to be the right size but it's also in a different shape to the template. To make sure that they're in line with each other, you can just see those guides come up and that snaps into position. Okay, so there's still a little bit of extra room in here. So this is called ganging up. So you can use this extra space if you want to continue the set of things that you're going to create for your nan maybe. And let's see if there's some more smaller things and you want to buy some extra. So you could do a magnet bottle opener or say you want to get a matching coaster. So you're going to have just enough room to fit that in as well. So again, you can have it matching. So drag that onto your so it's matching a similar size to the mug. And then you could maybe just have it one spot. So you can see you can try and fit as many different things on here. They don't have to be the same design. They can be whatever you want. You could maybe get in here as well. So you can see you can really make use of how much you can fit onto these and you can use all different types of templates on the same sheet and know that they get printed and they'll be the exact size that you want to have to press onto your blanks or if you're going to get it on adhesive vinyl you know that they're going to be the right size sticker or if you're going to press it with HTV it's going to work the same on all of these materials. Okay, so you've got everything set up to how you would like it to look and print. I can give you a little handy hint. Uh, because you'll be cutting this yourself, if you line up things so that you can do it all in one chop, you can either cut it with a guillotine or with a sliding knife ruler. 
if you line up the edge so then you can do everything in one chop wherever it is possible okay so you just have to chop straight in the middle here and you could also do it here too so then you're just chopping here you're just chopping here if you feel like you'd prefer to have a little bit more space between so then you know that you're not chopping into the next piece more than welcome to just leave yourself a gap as well so you can actually bring it off the edge if you feel as well so you know that that's the exact size here and we can actually just bring that down as well so because you are chopping this for a shape like this it's obviously going to work much better for a sublimation transfer so then it will only transfer what is color the what is in the white space is not actually going to transfer to whatever your blank is so if you're doing HTV or if you're doing adhesive vinyl it might be more recommended to do a simpler shape for you to be able to manually cut or otherwise you can try and line this up in your Cricut and you can cut it with your Cricut so now that this is all looking perfect and how you want it to print name your file something that's going to make sense so say Nan's gifts So this is for sublimation we go up to share download and make it a JPEG we recommend JPEG at the highest quality we're using Canva Pro so that we can adjust these settings you can see by that little crown that it's a pro setting to be able to adjust these and then download and then you've got your custom printed sheet set up exactly how you would like it to print and now we can print bring it into our custom printed sheets sublimation transfers product or if you're doing it for our other products you can bring it straight into our, the other custom printed sheets products so you've got your jpeg ready and you've come to bright star crafters website and you go to the custom prints category and going to upload it in the custom sublimation transfers product so you navigate to the product and then you go here to upload your image and you can either drag and drop or you can click here to upload where we've saved it from Canva so we've named it this so you know that this is going to come in at exactly the right size so we don't have to adjust the zoom if you leave it at 1.0 you know that that's going to be using all of the templates at the correct size because it's sublimation don't forget you need to flip so that when it's transferred it's going to be the correct way for the text so when you receive your sublimation transfers you, the text should be in reverse so that when it's applied it will be the correct way so that all looks okay hit done if you want to get a couple of sheets maybe three say just in case you make any mistakes or you want multiple versions of the same print make sure you select your quantity and then just agree that you own this image and then you can add to cart. It's as easy as that. Happy crafting, making something that you love for either yourself or for others.